Hey guys, just a quick update for you on the floodable impoundment. It's September 29th, the second weekend of duck hunting here. We had a big change last week. We had a big cold front come through, brought some wind and, and a lot of rain, almost three inches of rain here. And you can see a lot of my millet laid down and I actually ended up with a pretty decent landing zone despite being concerned about that. I did learn one thing that I learned I haven't built my berm up quite tall enough. I'll try to give you a shot of the water control structure here. Here you can see the high point. That's as high as the water level got and it's settled down now an inch or so. Uh, but anyway, when I tried getting this thing completely full, I was pumping some additional water in here. And down here, the, it was spilling out of the impoundment, so I just didn't get it quite tall enough. Take a look at my pond, which I had almost pumped completely dry. Look how much water's in this thing now. There's uh, probably a foot, foot and a half of water in this thing from the big rain event that we got. So anyway, that's just a quick update. I unfortunately haven't had any birds in this thing that I know of. Uh, actually, about four or five days ago, I was standing out in the middle here within an hour of sunrise just kind of screwing around out here with the dog and i had three mallards i turned around looked to the north and they were coming in hot locked up i think they saw my spinning wing decoy which was going at the time and of course my big dumb ass was sitting out there so they <laughs> they never fully committed but anyway no birds to this point i'm I'm going to be disappointed, but I won't be surprised. I've read plenty of articles that say when you build a flooded impoundment, it can take several years before the birds really get established in it. But anyway, that's it. Uh, shot a few birds up at the beaver pond this morning. Gave the dog a little action, but hopefully we'll see some activity out here later this year. See you next time.